Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, we are going to take a look at an Arduino based audio spy bug built around an Arduino and an NRF module. Here we have the transmitter circuit which is compact and have built in battery charging and protection circuit along with the microphone preamplifier. And here is the receiver circuit which consists of the Arduino along with the NERF module and a small speaker for sound output. Now let's look at how it performs. For that I have placed the, both the circuit into separate isolated rooms and I will speak through the transmitter circuit while recording the sound from the receiver. Hi guys, this is the sound output from the Arduino based audio spy bag. As you can see, the circuit works very well with the acceptable audio quality. Now let's have a look at the circuit diagrams. Here is the schematics for the transmitter. The transmitter mainly has four sections. The first section consists of battery charging and protection circuit along with the 3.3 volt LDO for powering the NRF module. We have used an off the market module based on TP4056 single cell charge controller for the battery charging. The protection circuit built around the DW01 chip within the module will protect the battery from deep discharge and short circuit. The second section consists of the microphone and the preamp circuitry. The microphone preamp is built around the common LM358 op-amp IC. It will amplify the weak signal from the microphone to a desired level. This amplifier signal is then fed to the analog pin input pin A0 of the Arduino Pro Mini. The next section is the Arduino Pro Mini itself. The Arduino Pro Mini will process the signal from the microphone preamp and will transmit it using the NRF module at the last section. The NRF module is interfaced with the Arduino over standard SPI bus. Now let's look at the receiver circuit. It's fairly a simple circuit consists of Arduino Nano along with the NRF module 3.3 volt LDO and a small speaker. The NRF module is interfaced with the Arduino Nano with the standard SPI bus. The audio output is generated using two PWM signals and are outputted through the digital pins pin 9 and pin 10. The speaker is connected direct, directly to these pins to get the audio output. Even though the project works as expected, there are few things you can do to improve it. For example, you can get better coverage and better data transfer rate over distance by using NRF24L01 module with built-in PA and LNA circuitry. Similarly, you can get improved sound quality by using dedicated microphone amplifier chip with unity gains such as MAX4466. So guys, thank you for your time. Hope you have enjoyed the video. See you next time.